So I wasn't able to make it out to Trump Ho myself. I'm home with mom in New York, and I'm sorry I missed it, but I'll take you out there right now. Well, my name is Pascal Trompeau, and uh, you are at Trompeau's Bakery. Alex, come at 2.30, and um, after I'm coming at 3.30, 4 o'clock, Joel comes at 4 too. Wendy mostly comes at like 5 o'clock, but on the weekend, because we have a lot more, like Friday night, I'm coming at you know, like 12, 12.30, midnight, and uh, on Saturday is the one we start, he comes at midnight too. Because uh, this is mostly the store on Saturday, it's, it's, a, it's very busy on Saturday, you know. I'm from a small village in France, and uh, my grandfather owned, used to own the bakery. And after my father owned the bakery, uh, I, I learned to bake with them. And, uh, I also went to school in the French National Institute of Baking. Me and my husband started this um, a while ago. We used to be over on Evans by DU um, since 97, and then we moved over here in 2011. We do a lot of different kinds of varied croissants, sweet and savory. Um, we have meat, meat and cheese croissants, and then we also do vegetables with different, different herbs and things. Um, our sweets we do about probably 25 different ones every day. We bake every day. Uh, they make everything from scratch. Uh, our breads also are very French, baguettes, uh, brioche, um, things that you'll find in France. Yeah, first, first I'm gonna do these epis. These are a really nice cheese shop orders these. I don't know what they do with them exactly, but it's a baguette that's cut like this. It's not, a glamour job, you know, there's no celebrity bakers or anything, you know, it's just, it's just a, it's a more peaceful kind of thing. While you cut the baguettes, it's, they're, it's to let the bread expand, you know, and so it gets lighter and everything. And when you cut them, then it will open where, where you cut it, see? Like this. Everybody sees these cuts, but a lot of people don't know why, why it's done. I worked at some restaurants that baked their own bread, but then I I started in Denver just working at <clears throat> bakeries, and I just wanted to learn more about bread, and I've, I've been doing it for 20 years now. But yeah, there's a lot to... A lot to learn about it, and you learn from repetition in baking. I mean, time and time again, you, you see it, you touch it, you feel it, and, and, and then you observe what what happens. You know. Yeah. You can see the, the oven picks up the rack and then rotates it. And first you get a good shot of steam here. It lets the bread e expand also. It takes about three hours to go through all the process and get in the oven here. And it's gonna bake for about 20, 25 minutes. 450 we started higher but <clears throat> turn it down to 450 in a little while. When the French people, they eat a lot of, uh, you know, food with sauce and stuff like this. Because they need bread to clean the plate, you know. They buy bread every day, you know. They mostly buy a baguette for lunch and a baguette for dinner, you know. 
It's like they always have to have bread to eat. Those are organic baguettes. And it's like a sourdough. You don't have any yeast in those. It's, we have a very old starter we use every day. Just a normal baguette, those. Those don't have so much fermentation. They only have like one hour fermentation after mixing, you know. And for those we have, but you know, it's only water, flour, fresh yeast, and sea salt, and uh, some starter too, yeah. But those we have some, uh, some yeast. Those we don't have any yeast, another one. In France, people come every single day. They eat fresh bread every single day and you see the same 450 people a day. Here, people don't eat bread every day. However, they do like the goodies. So we see a lot of people, uh, that's why we're open early in the morning. They take them to work and yeah, so. Yeah, my name is Alex and we, I'm doing some croissant right now. So that dough been fold four times. The folding is um, layers of butter and the dough. That's the final stretch, and I'm gonna cut them. In Bordeaux, I was born in a, in a bakery pretty much. My dad is a baker, he has a bakery in France. As you can see, you can see the layers. There's not many bakeries now in France who make their own croissant anymore. Yeah. Because for, re for two reasons. It's, uh, to employ people costs a, a lot of money to employers and bakeries prefer the, to make a, a, a shop a quick buck on the industrial products, you know? And uh, it's pretty sad, but that's the way it is. It's pretty, it's pretty hard to find somebody who make, makes it from scratch. I'm gonna egg wash the croissant. They're gonna allow this, the last proofing of the, the croissant is going to expand in, a, in the oven. So it gives some moisture to the, to the dough and that golden brown color. Okay. Let's go to the oven. them up. Put them in 400 degrees temperature for like maybe 20 minutes but we're gonna start at 14 minutes and check on it. You know, everything is done every day from scratch, you know, the croissant, the baguette. It means we mix and bake everything here, you know. I think in the olden days, you know, back my grandparents' days, there were a lot more scratch bakeries. Because people did, it was, it was uh, more of a normal thing instead of a, uh, here it's sort of like a luxury item. And uh, so they sort of went out little by little and like donuts and things replaced them. 
and people come in here a lot of times asking us for donuts and the guys got a kick out of it at the other store we used to even have a little joke about donuts <laughs> that it was a no fry zone or something so here you know I mean and when people I say no we don't have donuts but you should try this it's really good and you know so they usually end up liking it I'm going to make some cinnamons cinnamon rolls it's pretty easy Vas-y. S'il te plaît. Avec un bon pinceau. It's a very delicate dough because with all the layers that you have, if you stretch it too much or it's very delicate. You don't gonna have the flickiness that you're looking for. We mix it 24 hours in advance and then the day after, I incorporate the butter. And then that's the process of lamination. I incorporate the butter and laminate it, doing like those different layers. This is a mix of uh, cinnamon and sugar. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna put in a puffer, you can. This is a puffer. It's a mix of heat and humidity. As you can see, here's the humidity and the temperature. So that's gonna raise like maybe 85, 90 percent of humidity. You need you need a moist environment to to allow the dough to race. We probably sell like 300 a day, you know? different kinds, you know, between chausson and croissant, different kinds. We also sell cookie and brownies, and, uh, and uh, but in the weekend we sell a lot, like on Friday and, and Saturday. Yeah. I don't know, let me see. On the weekend we probably sell like between 1,500 pieces, you know. What about what? Blueberry cream cheese in the Speaking, you know, easy on the guy. Oh, I got your croissant. So it's a fun experience for a lot of people to come and try it. And I tell you, pretty much once they've tried it once, they come back. It, it's very good. I've been eating it for 30 years. I've never gotten tired of it. <laughs> they're, they're very good. They're good at what they do. They know what they're doing, all the bakers. They're nervous to come in and try it. They shouldn't be. We're pretty nice. We don't bite. And once they try it, they'll really find it delicious. And it's all good ingredients. Uh, we use, you know, fresh yeast. Uh, we just, yeah, we try and just do it as close to the French as we can. You know, all the, all the recipes are the same that you use over there. Wasn't Trempeau amazing? I mean, fabulous, fabulous pastries. I'm totally inspired from my quiche today. Hey, coming up next, my quiche.